Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the raised to the power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to the power 6 minus 3 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 from here. Then, next step here, we can write this as x raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2 minus also here we have 3 raised to the power 3. Then raised to the power 2 equals to 0 as 2 times 3 here will be 6. Also from here. That is. Next step, this follows the difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, this same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets a minus b. Then here a is standing as x raised to the power 3. And B standing as 3 raised to the power 3. And from here, this follow this and becomes X raised to the power 3 plus 3 raised to the power 3 into brackets. And also open brackets X raised to the power 3 minus 3 raised to the power 3 close brackets equals to 0 from here. The next step here we have two possible cases. First one, x raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have the second one, x raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0. That is, solving from the first case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is equals to a plus b into brackets, then open brackets a square minus AB plus B square from here. That is, what we have here follow this and becomes X plus 3 into brackets, then open brackets X square minus 3X plus 3 square plus bracket, which is equals to 0 from here. That is, here, yeah, this becomes X plus 3 into brackets, then open bracket x square minus 3x plus yeah 3 squared as 9 close bracket equals to 0 here. Also, here we have two cases that is x plus 3 equals to 0, or we have x square minus 3x plus 9 equals to 0. Then on this side, we have x equals to minus 3, which is a real solution here. And from here, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 3, and c equals to 9. And applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Here, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9, then all over 2 times 1. Then, here, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to minus times minus that's plus. So we have 3 here yeah, plus or minus square root of. Minus 3 square, that's same thing as 9. Then minus 4 times 1 times 9, that gives us 36. Then all over 2 here. Then we have x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36, that's minus 27 over 2 here. And also here we can write this as x equals to 3 plus or minus root minus 27 can be written as root. 9 times 3 times minus 1, then over 2. And we separate this into 2 into 3 roots. That is root 9, that's 3. So we have x equals to 3 plus or minus 3. Then we have root 3. Root minus 1 is i, then over 2. Which implies here, we have two complex solutions here. Then, so we from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 
the same thing as a minus b into brackets then open brackets a square plus a b plus b square that is what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 into brackets then open brackets x square plus 3x plus 3 square plus brackets equals to 0 here then this is same thing as x minus 3 into brackets then open brackets x square plus 3x plus 3 square which is 9 plus bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases as well x minus 3 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 3x plus 9 equals to 0 here then from here we have x equals to 3 which is a real solution here and on this side we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c equals to 9 applying the quadratic formula this becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 then all over 2 times 1 then what we have here becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square here same thing as 9 then minus we can still leave this as 4 times 9 then all over 2 here then here this becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of yeah, nine is common. We factor it out, and we have nine to bracket one minus four, then over two here. That is, yeah, this same thing as x equals to minus three plus or minus square root of nine times one minus four. Here we have minus three, then over two. That is, yeah, we can separate this into two roots, and we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 9 that's 3 then we have root minus 3 and root minus 3 same thing as root 3i so that's 3 times root 3i then over 2 here that is here we have two complex solutions here as well therefore all together here we have six solutions in this problem, two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.